Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about the types of abortion. So, most importantly, we have five main types of abortion. So, the first one which we are going to talk about is the complete abortion. What does a complete abortion mean? A complete abortion means that whatever the products that are present inside the uterus has been completely expelled out by the body per se. So, say for example, so once uh, once the patient comes to the doctor, so the patient will be telling that uh, she was pregnant and uh, 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 and uh, but now she had very severe bleeding along with clots. So, whenever in US assembly they say clots, we need to make sure that uh, it, they are trying to tell us that there is a bleeding associated, the bleeding is a severe. So, in complete abortion, so but once the ultrasound is done, there the uterus is clear and the cervix is also closed. This is in complete abortion. What happens in incomplete abortion? As the name says, the abortion has been started. The patient again comes to us telling that there has been severe passage of clots, heavy bleeding is there. But once the ultrasound is done, we find that there is still products within the uterus and the cervix is also open. That is a, the, the process of expulsion has been happening. So, in for patients like this, we have to help in the process of evacuation of the uterus. Now, what is a missed abortion? So, it might be a bit confusing, depends on the name. Let me tell you. In missed abortion, there is no fetal heart rate at all. There is no fetal heart rate. So, that the fetus is no more viable. But why do we call it as missed? Missed means the body has missed to detect that the fetus is, is not viable. The fetus is not viable. Ideally, what should happen? The body should start to expel the fetus. But the body has missed that to find out that the fetus is not viable. That happens in missed abortion. So, when the patient comes to the doctor, the uh, uh, ultrasound will detect that there is no fetal heart rate. But the uterus, the uh, uterus contractions will not be starting, the cervix will not, will not, will be closed. So, in missed abortion, the treatment is again to help in the evacuation of the uterus. The, uh, the another one is blighted ovum. This is a bit confusing. So, it is also known as, you need to know it is also known as an embryonic ovum. So, what does it mean? It means that Initially, there was an uh, ovum along with the placenta and it has been progressing well. But due to some reason or the other, the ovum has been resorbed completely such that there is no ovum at all. The gestational sac is empty. That is why it is called as an anembryonic ovum. There is no embryo at all, but the placenta will be there. So, in missed abortion, the fetal heart rate alone will not be there. But in blighted ovum, the gestational sac per se will be empty. This is the blighted ovum. Even for and the uterus will not contract and the cervix will still be closed. Even in blighted ovum, the treatment is the evacuation of the uterus. What do you understand by threatened abortion? This is the one which I like. Threatened abortion is like the body is threatening that it will abort, but it has not yet aborted. So the patient will come with severe bleeding, with clots. It will happen in threatened abortion. But on the other hand, on the ultrasound finding, the uterus, the fetus will be viable. So, so far the treatment that has been suggested is the bed rest. Uh, controversy still exists, but so far the treatment is bed rest. So, only in threatened abortion, the fetus is still viable. So, this is what and along with the passage of uh, severe uh, bleeding, that which, which is said as uh, clots, uh, the patient will uh, pass clot, clots, but still the fetus is viable. This is the threatened abortion. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.